Thank you all for joining me again at MTD CNC, and we appreciate you being here. Today, I'm with Richard. We're standing in front of a multitasking Matt Sura machine, but before we get into the significance of this machine, I want to talk a little bit with Richard about, believe it or not, he found a used Matt Sura machine on the market and was able to purchase it and implement it in his shop as the first Matt Sura, kind of as a test. So let's talk about how that test went, Richard. You purchased a used Matt Sura. What was that like? Well, because of the relationship I have with Selway, they, I was able to find a used Matt Sura. Uh, a, it's a 35B, has 32 pallets and a 20,000 RPM spindle. And the guy, with, the guy that I got it from, the guy that he, that they led me to, really runs a nice shop. He's the first owner of the machine. I very seldom buy used machines, but this was an exception. They're, 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 it's, it's a big investment to get into a new one, and uh, this is a good way for me to get my the shop feet wet with automation, and get my programmers up you know up to speed with what it takes to schedule different parts on the same machine. In fact, it has you know over 300 tools, and it just took a little while for everybody to get used to. Uh, one of our programmers does does have that history in his background already, so that helped a lot. But um. I, I just wanted to get my feet wet without having uh, the huge investment at the beginning, right? And um, so it, it was fortunate I was able to find a used one. And it runs just like, it runs just as good as a new one. It's got to be 12, 13 years old now. and It's never been, you know, crashed or anything. So it's really in good shape. You do have to be careful with these. You don't want to ever crash these machines. That's why they come with that good software, uh, the, uh, the accident avoidance software. I don't remember the name of it right now, but... Uh, uh, you always run the programs through that post to make sure the machine's uh, not going to bump into itself. Are we talking about Camplete? That Cam software, Pleat, yeah, correct. great software. Yeah. We know it very well. Yeah. So you mentioned something that said, I wanted to get my feet wet. I like that a lot. That makes sense. It is a big investment, especially yeah. when you're just getting into that world of pallet change. You mentioned all the tools. You mentioned you had a guy here that was somewhat familiar. Yeah. Did you, were you able to quickly implement it, first of all? And secondly, I think you've already mentioned this, but the precision was there, the accuracy was there. It was a second-hand machine, but oh, even yeah. to this day, running fantastic. And then third, none of us want to crash our machines. So let's just go ahead and say that right yeah, now, no, especially with our investments. So sure. continually to run accurate. And how quickly were you able to really get this thing up and going? Well, um, it did take, uh, well, I'd say probably three months, to be realistic. Uh, it didn't happen overnight. It takes a while to gather all the tool holders and all the tools together. Um, and get, you know, uh, together, like what kind of parts do you want to run together on that machine? So we, we, did, the, we, you know, we did it fairly quickly and uh, we ran that for a while. One of, the, one of the issues was we installed it on a regular piece of concrete and it should have been put on a, uh, yeah, on a foundation. So that's why we're over on this side of the shop today, because all of these machines are sitting on a 24 inch thick foundation, you know, specifically built to hold this machine. So, and it, it, it just works better that way. It was accurate over there, but we, it's more accurate here. Yeah, and that we, makes sense. Yeah. So to me, Richard, it sounds to me like you kind of knew the direction you needed to go in. You knew you wanted the pallet change. You yeah, knew you yeah. wanted to maybe yeah. increase your precision. That's what Matt Sir is known for, yeah, right? Yeah. You wanted to get your feet wet in it. And in my opinion, three months is a good amount of time, but yeah. you also mentioned, we well, gotta know what jobs to get. You gotta know, yeah. you make sure that it's being fed all the time. And now it's running 24 hours a day. I yeah. know that for sure. Yeah, yeah. Also, did that create the confidence you needed to invest in another one, two, three, four machines? Yes, it did. And, uh, you know, especially, uh, um, Really did, really did open our eyes to be able to automate uh, a lot of the parts that we were making before. It would take four or five operations, and now it's one or two operations, right? So obviously that builds in accuracy. The fact that you can let it run overnight builds in a better uh, uh, delivery schedule, so you can shrink up your delivery, uh, you know, the scheduling of the customer. And uh, and then of course this machine, um, this machine is uh, is a Cubelex 35 and this was actually the machine we bought after the, the used one we're talking about. I bought this one next. And we, we bought it brand new. And uh, we really wanted to be able to turn and mill uh, on the same machine. Mm -hmm. A lot of the parts we make have, need that accuracy. But they have some really nice, uh, really, you know, the blueprint ties a lot of the uh, true position and the, you know, the way it's been designed is the, it's just best to be able to do the turning and the milling at the same time. It really builds a lot of accuracies into the part. 
and uh, and again, once you get it set up, we can run you know a lot of parts overnight. So um, the the thing about you know having a mill turn machine, it does change the tool holders that you need. We have to go with the USK, and um, which is great. I mean, you know the great holders that that's what we needed to do, and uh, the they're just it's, it's not like the old Cat 40 or the or the Cat 50 taper holders. These are nice and compact. That's so that we can hold the lathe tools more accurately. Yeah, very yeah. well said, Richard. You know, you know what's going through my mind a little bit while you're discussing all this is you started with, you know, we got the, the five axis master machine, the used one, and reduced operations that were five, four setups. Yeah. So you saw something going, wow, okay, even if I have an extremely accurate machine, but I have to change the setup three, four different accurate machines, there might be some operator error in between there, maybe some touch offs or whatever it's gonna be sure. in between machine. So it seems to me, and let me not assume, we know what that does to everyone, but it seems to me like you saw the potential of what was being done and said, you know what, let's take it one step further and do both the turning and the milling inside the machine, which is what brought you to this answer. Is that yes. kind yeah. of the path? No, absolutely, yeah. The to be able to put the turning and the milling in one machine really does make a lot of difference. And this is a Matsura, like we said, Cubelix 35. There's other mill turn machines. There's machines that look like a lathe that have a mill head on them, which have different applications. They, they, you know, they're good on longer uh, like uh, shafts and things like that. We're making kind of short parts that are large in diameter, and they don't have that need for a tail stock holding up the end of it. So our, this vertical arrangement really works well for the parts we make. So, yeah, and that makes sense too, Rich. Yeah. I mean, ultimately we're trying to find what works best for our parts, right? Right. And if you get some crazy job in the near future from people watching this video and going, I like that Richard guy, let's give them some more work. I'm sure you'll <laughs> invest in the next machine that's gonna allow you to do the next new cool job, right? Of course, absolutely, absolutely. We are in uh, uh, the last few years, we've been expanding pretty, pretty well each year. Um, we occupy the whole building now. As before, we rented out this side of the building since we owned it, and uh, it just feels good to be able to have the room to expand a little. And and um, you know, the, the customers really like what we have. When they see that we have larger capacities and we can do this kind of thing, we can mill and turn in the same machine. They um, they send more work our way. You know, Richard, something this wasn't even a part of the conversation, guys, but I have to talk about it because we are in San Jose. You talked about expanding the building. You also talked about the footprint of some of these machines. How expensive is real estate here in order to do these expansions? Right. So how important is it to get as much as we can by square foot of our real estate, right? Sure, of course. You want to make the most out of it, of, of, of everything, right? Yeah. So we designed the, uh, you know, like the air systems and the electrical systems to be easily expandable. And, uh, you know, you put a little thought in ahead of time and you can get the most out of it in the long run. So we do have room for a few more machines here. We have we have a mach another machine on order already. We have the we have the foundation already poured, um, and uh, and and more more coming in the future. And you've been doing this about thirty years, I believe. So it's our fortieth year. Forty years. Yeah. So what I want to do to conclude this video is just offer your website or any information where someone can find out more about you. Because after hearing all this, you know you're going to get some phone calls. Well. Okay. Well, I have a, uh, we're just updating the website now, so it'll be nice again. Uh, my website is rsjmachining.com, and uh, right now uh, it needs a little work, but it, it, it's being worked on as, as we talk. But we can yeah. still get in touch with you through it, right? You can. not There we go. There we can. Ultimately, Absolutely. at the end of the day, that's what we want, and it will be updated very soon. For those of you watching, this is what happens when something like what happened with you, Richard. You jump into a new machine, give it a go. Maybe something like a Matt Sir is going to give this precision from day one to it is from day third to from day thirty, and then you can expand and grow and continue to grow like you're doing now. Congratulations sure. on the forty years, Richard. Absolutely Thank you. amazing. Thank you. If you guys like Richard as much as I do, give him a buzz, give them a call, see if they can do the work that you need them to do as well. Richard, one more time, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Thank you. Nice meeting you.